Hello and welcome. In this episode, we're going to be framing our greenhouse finally and getting all of that put together. So stick around. All right, and uh, welcome back. To, uh, we are here again with our greenhouse. Uh, now we've got all of our materials manufactured. Now it's time to start assembling everything. But uh, you can see we've got a couple of foundation blocks placed in the dirt, and uh, I've got them pretty level with each other right now. So uh, it will, in fact, see just how unlevel the ground is by the time we get to the other side. I'm assuming that the blocks will stick out um, a few inches further out of the ground than they do over here. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing uh, today is digging holes and placing the foundation blocks in the ground and measuring everything a thousand times to make sure that it's perfect before I start laying down frames. So it looks like the next thing I'm going to have to do and I'm just is just kind of mocking everything up right about here instead. And I know the brick is going to need to go right here, so I'm going to need to dig a hole pretty much right here. All this. And we're actually pretty dang level. It needs to go down just a little bit so it's uh it's at a good height so we have our height we have our bolts aligned and 98 inches falls pretty much dead center so i'd say this cinder block is good to go i'm going to just go ahead and continue on down this line here <laughs> So our 196 line is right here. This is our center. Okay. Let's see what it does. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> that is most definitely not gonna work. We are going to have to bust out the big dogs. Big drill bit. That's a big rock. But damn, that's still a lot of rock to have to try and remove. And it's no small rock either. That's a big boy right there. Who knows how big that thing is. A lot bigger than my shovel can move, most likely. A lot of times with these rock breakers, you'll beat them a few times, and then they'll bust loose, and you'll be able to pry them out with a shovel. But this one hasn't budged. It's just chipping away, making rock dust. It's a workout in itself right there. So I can already tell you that's not level at all. And uh, short of me coming out here with a jackhammer, that thing is probably not gonna bust loose with just uh, brute force from a human. Not this human anyway. I'm not big enough to break that rock. Definitely gonna take some more rock breaking. But I seem to be making some headway. Let's dig some easy stuff for a minute. <laughs> it's 
definitely easier to dig over here. Where's my rock bar? I need a true rock bar. Like, maybe this will work, but I'll definitely have my depth if I can get these rocks out of here. I have to dig under the rocks practically to get them out. Uh, all right, so here we are again. Next day, uh, I thought about this rock all freaking night. That's how awesome this thing is. So we're gonna try to break it apart. Um, it's pretty futile to get it out of there. So uh, we're just gonna try to break it up. What I was thinking was chiseling the rock out. Since I need it to be about here, you know, I thought, well, maybe I can chisel it out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> but I'd probably smash my thumb before this is over. I'm not sure this is gonna work. So what are we going to do? Pour a custom footer or try to remove this rock? What is it gonna be? Excavating rocks. I feel like I'm digging up dinosaur bones here. Wow. You can see it lifting up. Just keep in mind this bar weighs like fucking 30 pounds. You can only slam it so many times <laughs> before it kind of fucks you up. There we go. It's kind of what I'm talking about. Break the sandstone. Holy. That. So now it's pretty well lined up. That's a straight line, I think. Close enough, right? Um, and then we're going to have to, of course, tilt this this direction a little bit. And, uh, finally, the weekend. I've been busting my butt all week uh, doing computer work. and doesn't leave me a whole lot of time to uh, do things that I enjoy, such as this. So uh, got the frame built up for the north wall. We've got our door jam put in here. That thing's heavy duty. It should definitely hold the weight of the door. It's a very heavy door. Very heavy door. Solid wood, solid glass. Um, so um, it's going to make it pretty heavy. Definitely. It's going to be fun putting up. So now this thing weighs about twice what it did before. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and try to pop it up, slide it back into place, and uh, put some holes in it. <clears throat> Shit. What's the first thing I do? A bump right into the fucking foundation block. I had a feeling that shit was gonna happen. Just for shits and giggles, we'll figure out how far these bolts are apart from each other. 112 and 7 eighths. That's how far the bolts are apart from each other here. Got my lines drawn here. We'll start with 5 eighths and go from there. Wow. 
Wow, that's fast. I like this thing. Okay. Okay, wasn't so bad. The real thing is, is good. How, how well is my measuring skills? How far am I gonna have to beat this one over to make it fit? Not too bad. There. So we've got these really big washers to uh, help hold everything down a little better. Even though there was some washers that came with everything, I want to use the big guys here to make sure that we've got everything secured as best we can. That's why I had to move my door because see where the bolt is on this side was going to be right where the stud was. So I had to move everything over 12 inches. So I've got a little modification. You know, the other day when I was laying these blocks down, I realized, you know, that I screwed up and, uh, not going to get a gap right there. Um, so what I did was I uh, extended these walls here. Uh, <laughs> you can see that I just put an eight inch block inside of there to extend it another eight inches and uh, installed a uh, vent frame or something right there to uh, take its place and make it sturdy. So uh, we're going to use them like that now, ready to put them in. Okay, so now we'll measure our shit. 97 and 3 eighths. No pilot drill necessary, just need a good, good X to start it. Trying to get the uh, the brick lined up. Should have just been kicking this. Then we're gonna have to do something about that. pretty solid. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. There we go. That was a little easier than the last one actually. One more to go. Now that's the south wall here, which you can't see right now. Now we'll measure the distance between these two bolts to get an accurate measurement. It should be something like uh, 110 or so. Come here, you make yourself useful. and 11 inches. Are you going to trust that? Hmm. 
Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, that one's on and we're up against the wood. Dude, sweet, sweet, dude. Next step to get this up on here, that's gonna be a challenge. Somebody's testing it out already. She just climbed up that. She just literally climbed up this post up to the top. <laughs> you are brave, sugar, like testing my stuff out like already. I'm just lift it up there. Just gonna tack it in place. Dope! So we got a couple of these cool things here, these little brackets. I wish I had the rest of them and uh, obviously they're supposed to go here under these feet well these are the, I mean these are the feet Oy, they go under here like so making these much easier to mount this is one tall bastard if I did my calculations correctly the carport frame should pretty closely line up with the wooden sides like it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect i realized that but i did get it pretty dang close can't wait to get plants in here we're back and uh we've got this thing pretty well framed up now um we got one of the gables up top here and we're going to go ahead and put the other one up now um what else did we do off camera? We went ahead and we fastened the white pole frame to the wood. So it's all one big flimsy unit, but it's getting more sturdy with each screw that we put in. So right now we are hoisting up the gable sides to uh, mount to the tops of the walls here. This one sits a lot better than the other one does. Ninety-eight and seven eighths, or you could say ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. We're gonna have to add a certain, um, you know, like foot to it. Hey, and uh, so we're back for after a little bit of a break here. Um, <clears throat> we did some work off camera. As you can see, uh, we've got some poles put in here. We, uh, we did actually get that on camera, but uh, what we didn't catch was I milled some more boards. These are thick beams. Now these are just ugly 
big old pieces that I really couldn't cut on the sawmill table saw, whatever. Um, so I actually just ripped a lot of these in half with a chainsaw first and then just cleaned them up the edges on the table saw to make them look good. But they're actually really nice thick beams and they're gonna sit up on top and be my load bearing beam. So I'll be able to hang plants and even myself from all of these beams and it will make this thing super sturdy and it's going to rest on each of these poles here. So uh, each pole will hold half the weight of one <clears throat> and I'm considering cutting another piece to sit <clears throat> on here, but I'm not quite sure if I want to yet. I don't think I will need to. I'm just gonna make additional braces when I'm all done. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and throw these up there and um, get them in place and then call it a day because I've uh, got other things to do today and <clears throat> spent a lot of time on this already. The fun part about this is uh, we actually, we need to use a mock board. Here's our mock board. <clears throat> and with, ow, just got sliver. With this mock board, I'm gonna put this up here and uh, level it out to find out where this thing needs to be cut. Oh yeah, it is, at least on this side. The bee cut right about where that knot is. They're all pretty heavy. or any of these they all are at least eight and a half feet long so That's pretty funny. Might as well grab some screws. Fucker, where'd you put them? Of course. Hidden in plain sight. Of course, I'll tie them together. Still gonna set it right about half, halfway over this thing.
we have a complete greenhouse frame all the way from bottom to top. And a little bonus, in addition to this, a couple of our beams that we had put up here actually extend out far enough to create a nice awning over my door. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this awning out as well to uh, keep this area, this little walkway here dry, at least underneath the, actually I'll be able to cover the entire width of the greenhouse and have a nice awning over that. Um, so eventually this will be all covered up. This wood pile is going away. We're gonna finish out the porch, continuing on out this way and wrapping around the mobile home. The white mobile home is going away. That's gonna be moved here in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. But um, yes, our greenhouse frame is complete. Let's check it out. So everything worked out pretty good. Uh, just a couple of hangups, you know, like uh, not calculating the length properly. Um, the reason we had to make this uh, correction here is because um, when I first designed this, I designed the 17 feet to include the dimensions of the outside walls. And as you can see, uh, I changed my mind and I decided to put the outside walls on the outside. So the 17 foot dimension is inside to inside only so that's why i had to make up for it and i just i don't know what i was thinking i just did my math completely wrong at first so it happens so walking over here we've got everything in place and we've got our beams up so these guys right here will hang all the plants and anything heavy lights fans just be a general area of strength and somebody loves it already <laughs> where are you going are you gonna climb up come on <laughs> such a good cat so yeah got our posts here these will be utilitarian as well they'll also hold plants everything's gonna hold plants so we have a complete greenhouse frame now so now what's she going to do? Greenhouse mascot. <laughs> Good luck getting down from there. All right, so thanks for sticking around and uh, catch you guys in the next episode. If you uh, enjoyed this, don't forget to like and share the video and uh, we'll catch you guys another time. Peace.